Oh yeah, so good. Love it. You should taste these plants and grass. It's so good. Oh, excuse my manners. My name is... So hungry. Oh yeah, my name is Brachiosaurus. Wow, I'm hungry. Yes, I know I don't look a kilogram over 60 tons, but I'm still growing. I'll get to be about 16 meters tall. Anyway, I think there's a forest over there I can eat. After all, I'd eat my 200 kilograms of food a day. Aren't you scared of me? All dinosaurs are scared of the Allosaurus. No, no, I'm a Brachiosaurus, a plant-eating dinosaur. I'm a herbivore. Bye. Hmm, all this talk of food is making me really hungry. Huh? Huh? The herd! Yay! I thought I lost you guys. Excuse me while I join my herd. Oh, I'm lost again. Hey, look, a delicious forest. I'm Panopolosaurus. That's pan o plo Saurus. I wonder if you can guess what my name means. Welcome to our game show. Guess the meaning of my name. Clue number one. I live here in the late Cretaceous period, 74 million years ago. No guesses? Okay. I'm from the family of dinos called Ankylosauria. That means I have body armor. I have a stiff, clubless tail, and look at all my spikes. I'm built like an armored truck. Any ideas? Uh, square root of four. Uh, by eight. Mm, pie. This is an easy clue. I'm the same size as a dump truck, and I weigh three and a half metric tons, the same as an elephant. Of course, all of this armor is to protect me from meat eaters like these two T-Rexes. Okay, this is the last clue, and then you'll have to answer. I live in what is now Alberta, Canada, so can you guess what my name means? Does it mean delicious? No, Panopolosaurus means totally armored lizard. Look at all the armor on me! Sheesh! Do I win something? No. Hey, play nice. I gave you easy clues. Oh well, see you next time. Hi, hi, I'm Zuni Ceratops. You say it zoo ni ser tops My name means Zuni horned head. And my eyebrow horns come in handy, especially since I have an itch in the middle of my back where I just can't reach. Ah! Ah! And this is my home here in the Middle Cretaceous period, 90 million years ago. See? My fossils were found in what's now known as New Mexico. A tribe of Native Americans lived here called the Zuni. Zuni, Zuniceratops. I'm the first ceratopsian. That means dinosaur who likes to eat plants that has eyebrow horns. And I have another horn. See, at the tip of my nose. I'm not very big. Just about the size of a cow. Ooh, so itchy. Wait, I know. Could you please scratch my back? A little to the left, lower, 
Yes! That's the best thing about being in a herd. You always get a helping head. Bye for now! Have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King. And, well, that's me. <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length. That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat eater, uh, yum, 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 yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America. Here. Yeah. Well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me, and I need them, because it's lunchtime! Oh dear. Velociraptor. Yes, the famous Velociraptor. The Velociraptor. It means speedy thief. See my long tail? It lets me run really fast. <sighs> but not for too long. Didn't know I had feathers, huh? I need them to keep me warm. Because, well, 85 million years ago, it sometimes got pretty cold around here. And where is here? It's what is now known as Northern China. I'm not very big either. If you compare me to my cousins like the T-Rex, but like them, I'm a meat eater and I walk on two legs. But I'm just about the size of a big turkey. <laughs> I hunt in a pack. In fact, this whole time my pack has been watching us. Eva! like spending a day playing with your friends. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Bye. Psst, hello, I'm the Argentinosaurus. That's Argentinosaurus. I'm trying to hide. Oh no, this is not a good place to hide. You see, I'm playing hide and seek with my friends, but I don't think I'm very good at it. I am from what is now known as Argentina. That is in South America. Ugh. This is hopeless. I am too big to hide. That's what you get for being over 70 metric tons and 23 meters long. I am even longer than three school buses. Mmm, yum! As a herbivore, I love eating plants. That bush looks too delicious. What are you doing? You're eating my hiding place. 
I am sorry I get so hungry. I need to eat 45 kilograms of food a day. And all this running and hiding, well, it just made me hungrier. Aha! Got you both! You two are really bad at this game. I think I'm just too big for this game. But maybe we can play something else. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Ooh, don't sneak up on me like that. Give me a heart attack. Let me introduce myself. I am the Bipiaosaurus. And yes, I have feathers. I was flying there a second ago, looking for some plants to eat. Did you see? Okay, okay, well, maybe it was more like I fell out of the tree. But I did feel lift on my wings just before I hit the ground. Heart. Did you hear something? Because I definitely heard something. Ah! Oh, I do say, excuse the interruption. You don't have to hide. Really now, I'm the Microceratus, one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. What can I possibly do to you? It should have been named Chicken, not after Bai Piao, the city in China where they found the Bai Piaosaurus fossil. I am not a chicken, just careful. Besides, would a chicken try to fly again? Huh? It's just mind over matter. I can do this. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long way down. Okay, so my feathers aren't made for flying. They're more like downy fibers. But they're still feathers, right? And I'm not super huge or anything. I'm only a little bit taller and heavier than a man. All I have to do is think positive. I am positive! Oh, hello, and welcome to the late Jurassic period. I'm Ultrasaurus. Ultra cool, ultra special, ultra big. It's easy to say my name. Ultrasaurus. Hey, Allosaurus. Should I have an audience? Ultrasaurus, he is the one. Ultrasaurus, that's me. When you think of the biggest dino ever, think of me. I'm so big. Hey, how big are you? I'm so big that when I sit around the pond, I really sit around the pond. <laughs> Ultrasaurus, he is the one. I'm a herbivore, so I eat lots and lots of plants. Lots. I have to to get this big. He's as big as a bus, folks. Actually, I'm bigger than a bus, Al. I'm as tall as a three-story building. Next floor, socks. But some people think I'm not an Ultrasaurus. They think I'm really just a huge Brachiosaurus, since we look alike. Mm. No, you're Ultrasaurus. You're the one. I'm from what is now known as Colorado, USA. What's the weather like up there? So you want to have a look? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Going up. E. Huh. That's too bad. I, I was just about to show him where his house was. Hi, I'm Massospondylus. You say it like this, Massospondylus. I'm trying to think of what I can do for the Dino Talent Show. It helps to have hands that let me grab things or I'd never be able to do this. My name means massive vertebra. Those are the bones in my neck. Here, take a look. Now that's a lot of neck. I live in what is now called South Africa. I'm about the same size as an elephant, but I weigh a lot less because my bones are hollow and I have air sacs that make me lighter. That's how I can be so light on my feet. 
I know. I could tap dance in for the talent show. Hmm, maybe not dancing. Oh, I know. I love to sing. Listen. La 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 la. Well, what do you think of my singing? I guess I need to practice more. I wish there was something else I could do for the Dino Talent Show. Something I was good at. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come to me. See you at the talent show. Hello, hello. I'm Nothronicus. That's Nothron I Cuss. And welcome to our late Cretaceous TV show. No, your dinosaurs. Joining me today are my best buddies, Custard and Ronnie. Hi. Hi. We're talking about what makes us really different from other dinos. Custard, any thoughts? Um, we're on TV. Uh, good try, but no. Even though we're theropods, we don't eat meat. You see, most theropods are carnivores. Great, now I'm hungry. Oh, oh, I've got one. We have very fine feathers covering our whole bodies. Mm-hmm. What else is different about us from most dinos? We have these long claws for snipping leaves and branches. And our teeth aren't sharp, but they're perfect for mashing up plants. And we drool when we chew with our mouths open. I'm not drooling. Let's not forget that we need to eat a lot because we're really big. As big as this giraffe fella here. All right, all right, thanks for coming on the show. We live in what is now called New Mexico. And that's our show! Join us next time in the late Cretaceous period as we discuss asteroids, real or are they a myth? So, who wants to get something to eat? Oh, aren't they precious? Hi, I'm Plesiosaurus. You say that Plesiosaurus. My name needs near lizard, and this is the early Jurassic period 180 million years ago. I have to gather up the babies and get them to school. Okay, it's time for school, you three. Our four flippers let us move through the water as easily as flying through the air. It's our best defense against predators bigger than us here in the water. Oh my, now where do they go? And this is the other defense we have against predators. We blend into the underwater scenery. <laughs> Got you! Ah! I'm a medium-sized plesiosaurus, as you can see. I'm only slightly larger than a human being. Oh, and plesiosaurus are not actually dinosaurs. We're big reptiles who live in the water. The way you can tell us apart from dinosaurs is what our legs look like. Mine are springing like this, and dinosaur legs go up and down like a human's. Anyway, plesiosaurus eat lots of fish, and our teeth are mesh, so when we grab a fish, we never let go. Our fossils have been found in many places because a lot of the Earth was covered with water in the Jurassic period. See? I got you to go to school after all. I think it's time for recess, don't you? Let's go to the top for some air.